pre-Christian era Rome. The empire had grown beyond its means, and the rule of the Senate elders had begun to fray at the edges. continually defending her from hostile neighboring states. As the power struggle ensued in the political arena, the quality of Roman life declined. The empire was racked by chaos. It was then that a great man appeared and changed the fate of Rome. Julius Caesar, the most celebrated hero Rome had ever seen. One after another, disturbances were squelched and discontent alleviated under his competent dominion. With the rule of Julius Caesar, all who inhabited Rome waited hopefully for the coming of the Pax Romana, or Peace of Rome. But it was not to last. Despite her citizens' wishes, Rome was once again sucked into the vortex of violence and destruction. <laughs>
this place. Not like that. have been here as well. Centurion Agrippa. There is no doubt of it. It is certain that it belonged to a Roman messenger, sir. So, they have been captured. It has not been long since they left. We shall separate and look for them. Yes, yes sir. sir. That is enough. Let us move forth. <gasps> Centurion! <gasps> It's the enemy's fort. They must be close. We must hurry. The cremation of the assassinated Julius Caesar took place in the Foro Romano, as the raging flames reduced Rome's former ruler to ashes. All who looked on were struck by the poignancy of his all too early demise. Hear me, my fellow Romans. <laughs> and here comes Cicero, champion of the Senate. We, the members of the Senate, have found the man responsible for the grotesque slaying of our hero, Julius Caesar. It is the traitor of Rome, Vipsanius. Vipsanius? That is Agrippa's father. It cannot be. It is not true. I did not kill Caesar! I would never do such a thing! Silence! Men of Rome, I shall now announce the successor to the hero Julius Caesar. The man who shall ascend as the just ruler of our great nation. Antonius! People of Rome, as Caesar has expressed in his will, I, Antonius, 
shall step up as his rightful successor. I shall hereby take up an oath on my honor to dedicate my life to the glory of Rome! Yeah! I cannot believe that Vipsanius would do such a thing. This is not a child's playground. Please tell me, is Vipsanius the true murderer of our Caesar? What a strange question you ask, boy. What is your name? I am Octavianus, nephew of Julius Caesar. Ah, his nephew. Well, I regret to tell you that I witnessed the deed. Vipsanius had Caesar's blood on his hands. We shall know more tomorrow after the Senate meeting. Go home now. Slay Caesar. I must speak to the Senate. This must be a misunderstanding. What troubled you, young man? Who are you? Have you forgotten old Pansa, good Octavianus? It's a Roman guard. Centurion, I am sorry. So sorry. I have a message. We shall talk later. Caesar has been assassinated. What? Did you say that somebody has assassinated Caesar? Speak! I only know that he was assassinated at the Senate House. I have heard nothing else. That is absurd. It cannot be possible. I see. <laughs> no. 
Now I understand why no amount of torture would make them talk. The time for the Germanic tribes has come! You will all bow to me! Silence! No barbarian has the power to crush mighty Rome! We shall see about that! Prepare to die! What are you waiting for? Kill me! I would sooner die than become a slave of Rome! Centurion! Take him away! Finish me! Let me die! Centurion! What is the matter? Caesar is dead. He has been assassinated. What? What? Hurry. We must return to the Foro Romano. If I may say so, I cannot approve of this reckless behavior. You may be the late Caesar's nephew, but you are still a boy. They will not allow your entry into the Senate House. But I must do something. My poor friend Agrippa. I cannot even look him in the eye until this terrible injustice has been remedied. If you would like, I am available to help you. You will help me? If I dare say so myself, I was once Caesar's most trusted agent. I am no stranger to clandestine research. But... I am an old man and have little to offer. Still, I am happy to put my experience to good use. Are you certain? You would do this for me? Many, many years ago, it was your family, Octavianus, who saved me on the battlefield. Without you, I would not be here right now. It is a small token of my gratitude. And thusly, the murderer Vipsanius has been sent to the prison in Syracuse. As for his sentence... He must be executed immediately. The people of Rome shall settle for nothing less. I have a proposal. Ah, Mecanus. Secretary to Antonius, and what is this proposal you speak of? 
to mourn the death of Caesar and to celebrate his life, may I propose holding gladiatorial games? Gladiatorial games? Yes, qualifying matches shall be held throughout the provinces. And the best soldier in Rome shall be chosen right here, in the Foro Romano. I see, but what is the purpose of this? The honorable man who triumphs shall be the executioner of Vipsonius. Huh? So, Machinus, you propose distracting the people's minds from the assassination of Julius Caesar with a showy extravaganza. I like it. That is a splendid idea, Machinus. Ah, thank you, sir. And what shall we do with Vipsania? Wife of Vipsanius. I believe. That is a decision best left to the members of the Senate. Do you mean to say that you agree that she be publicly executed in the square? What? I have no objection. Agrippa's mother is to be killed. What do I do? Octavianus, is it true that Caesar has been assassinated? Yes. I'm afraid it is true. Even worse, your father has been arrested as his assassin. What? Please, you must remain calm, Agrippa. We must save your mother first. My mother? What has happened to her? Mother! Mother! 
Mother, are you all right? <laughs> Go. Hurry. They will come after you now. Insolent child! You cannot stop this. Mother. Mother! <laughs> has been killed. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even save my own mother. Damn them! Damn me! Do not be so hard on yourself. That was Decius, who is notorious for his cruelty. Nobody would have been able to save your mother. Silence. No. He shall pay for this. Thank you for helping us. I am Octavianus. This is Agrippa. My name is Claudia. I fight outside of the arena. I must know. Why did you save us? Well, Syracuse Prison is at the top of this road. We will be there soon. I must say that the security is very tight. Will you be able to come home safely? I do not care! I must speak to my father, and hear the truth! Listen, I have heard about the guards at that prison as well. Ugh. She's right! It is too risky for both of us to enter together. Ugh. I will go in first and secure a safe route. I shall signal to you when the time is right. Until then, hide and wait for my signal. Ugh. What are you saying? I will go! I have a plan. You must trust me, Agrippa. Are we not friends? Fine.
But do not do anything foolish. Of course not. Are you ready? Yes. If they return safely, they are true heroes. Is that you? A noble Octavianus? Vipsania. Please tell me the truth, Vipsanius. What really happened? Well... Sonius, what have you done? So you are innocent, Father. Yes, of course. Et tu, Brute? Yes. Those were Caesar's last words. This way! Damn, they have noticed. Go! Both of you, come, Father. Please, hurry! You must come with us! Never mind me, go! You must uncover the truth, Agrippa. Agrippa! I will come back for you. Hurry! Remembering something? No, but... And you too, Brutus. That indicates that there was more than one murderer, including a certain Brutus, who Caesar would never have expected to turn his back on him. Agrippa, I am returning to the Foro Romano. I want to find the truth and prove your father's innocence. You cannot go back. You caused such a ruckus at the Foro Romano. The security at the prison will surely become more strident, which will make a rescue almost impossible. Damn it! <sighs> what am I to do? Agrippa, would you be interested in becoming a gladiator?
A gladiator? Ah. My brother is a showman for the upcoming gladiatorial games. I have seen your way with the sword, and a good swordsman will attract large crowds. Wait! Do you know what a gladiator must do? He must murder for spectacle. A gladiator is lower than the most lowly slave. Calm down. Listen. Agrippa, this may work in your favor. These gladiatorial games that will be held in Caesar's honor, do you know what the victor must do? He is to be Vipsanius's executioner. What? Listen to me. If we go to my brother, you can enter as a gladiator. And if you continue to win every battle... It would give me the opportunity to see my father. Exactly. There is a good chance that you will be able to rescue your father. Well, what do you think? Would you take that risk? No, Agrippa! You must not be seduced by such a perilous scheme! I promise to prove your father's innocence. You need not lower yourself to become a gladiator. That is not all. General Decius, the man who killed your mother. Yes? What about him? I hear that he has planned to participate in the final battle at the gladiatorial arena. That scoundrel. <gasps> Octavianus, I shall be a gladiator. Agrippa! Go! No matter what happens, I will not lose. You must go and prove that my father is not Caesar's killer. Fine. Promise me you will not die. You are sure of this. I have no choice. I must avenge my mother's death and rescue my father. This is my only option. Take me to see your brother. I shall fight to the death. So, you are Agrippa. Claudia has been speaking of you. I hear that you cause quite a stir at the Forum. Is that right?
I am Sextus. I run the show here. Before you begin, I will have you know that a gladiator sacrifices his life for the entertainment of the crowds. It is a thankless and pitiful job. Do you think you're ready for this? I am not here to think. Let me fight. Hmm. Very well then. Come with me. First, I want to see how good you are. If you want to fight in the qualifying match, you have to win. Go ahead. Show me what you can do. Hmm. That is not bad. <laughs> Let us see how you will do with this next one. Claudia? Do not think I cannot fight because I am not a man. That is enough. You are a fine swordsman. You are hired. From today, this here is your home. If you have any questions, talk to Claudia. She should be around. But remember, you are now a gladiator. Below the lowest slave, you will not leave the grounds as a free man again. Et tu, Brute? That is what he said? Yes. Does that mean anything to you? I cannot say for certain, but Cicero, the head of the Senate, has a protege who goes by the name of Marcus Brutus. I shall go see Cicero at once. He should be at the Senate House. Be very careful. Master Cicero. Ah, you. I trust you were not seen? Of course not. The teacher would like a word with you regarding his progress. He is waiting for you in the second room. I'll be there shortly. Now make sure nobody hears of this. Do not worry. I shall take this secret to my grave. Master Cicero, I have just read your work. <laughs> Are you here to criticize my words? No. That would be preposterous. Such elegant arguments, such eloquent rhetoric. 
I can think of none who could utter a syllable of criticism. You have the gifts of keen observation and elegant expression given by the gods. Indeed, the gods have given you the sight to see the world in their eyes, and the hand to record our history for the benefit of posterity. Yes, well, I have a lot to do. Master Cicero, I have been waiting. You must let me in. Yes, sir. Do not let anyone else in until I come out. Is that understood? Yes, sir. What news? I am afraid it is not good, Cicero. The execution was delayed because of the games. Damn Macanus. Always getting in my way. Listen, I want a comprehensive roster of all those protesting the execution. I shall end this once and for all at tomorrow's session. I understand. Where are you off to, Cicero? I am going to see my student. Student? He means Marcus. Marcus. Cicero. Are you mourning Caesar's death? That man always alienated me. I am happy he is gone. Watch yourself. What would you do if somebody heard you? I apologize. Is it true that you've been sneaking into the taverns every night? What do you think you're doing? The taverns? <laughs> Agrippa, we meet again. I never thought we'd meet in a place like this. We have unfinished business. You shall pay for what you did in the war!
cool to watch men murder each other like animals! Damn! Marcus! Listen to me, Marcus! Quiet! Within the Senate, there are many who believe that Vipsanius is innocent! What is your point? It is only a matter of time before the truth is uncovered! We must do something! I do not care! Stop! Marcus, you must take responsibility! Carry the body. You must never tell anybody about this. What happened must be concealed within these walls. Do you understand? Yes, yes sir! understand what is happening here.
Thank you, Agrippa. Now we are even. Hey. What is it? It's about Claudia. I wanted to thank you for saving her from a dangerous situation. I owed her a favor, that is all. Ah, uh, the fool. She worries me so. She will not hear anything I say. Why is she a gladiator? I don't know. We are close, but we have only known each other for about ten years. What? But I thought you were brother and sister. Sir? What? Somebody here to see you. I will be there shortly. Ah, oh, yes. Give this to Claudia, would you? What is this? It is something of a good luck charm. Make sure that she gets it. Sextus wanted me to give you this. Sextus? Thank you. Sextus is worried about you. Why did you decide to become a gladiator? I have to become stronger. I... I lost my little brother to a Roman soldier. I couldn't do anything. I just watched, helpless. And that's why I want to become strong. I want to be able to protect those that I care about. And that is why I fight. I'm sorry. We have more in common than you might think. It's an easy job. Just kill one person, right? It is a direct order from our mistress. The assassination must be executed perfectly. The Great One agrees to assist you in your plans if you accomplish this task. Material or otherwise, his resources will be made available to you. Iris, Charmaine, go back to your mistress. Tell her that I accept. Secretary Macanus? Yes. I have some questions regarding the murder of Cassius. I know that he knows something. I saw him just a short while ago, in the square. I will go and find him. <gasps> Macanus! I understand. If it is Antonius who wants it to be so, I shall have to oblige.
We are depending on you, Sextus. Ah, perfect timing, Agrippa. This here is Mechanus. He has come to announce that Antonius will be holding a chariot race. So, you are the Agrippa that I hear so much about. Good luck in the race. Chariot race? I heard there was a swordsman at the contest who had slain one of your men from the Valcross troops. Who is he? Vipsanius' son. I believe his name was... Agrippa. His mother was executed recently, and he shows his respect by entering a contest. It's disgusting. I see. You are now desperate because you realize that you cannot go back to Rome, having lost one of your elite to a lowly gladiator. Antonius, please! Let him compete in the upcoming chariot race. The honor of the Valcross Legion is at stake. You have been wrong. And you wish to retaliate. Very well. I shall send a herald to Mechanus. Thank you, sir. Excuse me, could you tell me where Niger's room is? Master Mechanus, Niger's room is the one next to the stairs. I am not yet familiar with these parts. Thank you for your help. You are welcome, sir. Master Mechanus, I followed your instructions. It should be somewhere at the bottom of the Tiber River by now. Fine. And you are seen by nobody? No, of course not, sir. Good. Return to your normal duties, then. Yes, sir. Look, Mechanus. This is how much the qualifying round has cost us. Ah, I see it was a lavish event. Fit for Rome. Nobody in his right mind would hold an event this expensive. Caesar's fortune will soon disappear if we continue to spend it this way. I am doing nothing but following the instructions of fair Antonius, rightful heir to Caesar's throne. Management of the facts and figures is your job. Hmm. Now, if you will excuse me, I am a very busy man. Mechanus! Antonius calls for you! <laughs> what a beautiful voice you have, Octavianus. It was almost convincing. How did you... How did you know it was me? I thought it was you. I advise you to get out of here immediately. If you do not, 
I shall call the guards. Please tell me, why did you hide Cassius' body? Tell me, Macanus, is Marcus his murderer? Marcus? I'm afraid I do not know what you are talking about. I did not hide Cassius's body. Rome is already in a state of turmoil. And having this news spread would not be helpful. It would affect the upcoming gladiatorial games negatively. But... That is the end of our conversation. Do not pry. You will regret it. On the honor of Valcross. Kill him. You! You work for him too? Why did you accept? Don't you understand, Claudia? I did it for us. For us? How is it for us? What is wrong with you? Wrong with me? I act according to my beliefs. I have nothing more to say. Sextus! Leave me. to be alone. Claudia? He is... not my real brother, Agrippa. I know. I was very young when I was sold as a slave in Rome. Sextus bought me. I think he sees his dead younger sister in me. He raised me and took care of me. That is why I respect him. 
and I will always be grateful for all that he has done. But lately, he has not been himself. <laughs> Marcus Brutus had mysteriously disappeared. To find out what happened, I headed for the Senate to speak with his mentor, Cicero. for answers. child is one of them the congregation but still he is innocent why how another brutus please take him to the shrine Cicero! Cicero! must be their best fighter, the one safe for last. I cannot die now! was your plan from the beginning. You created the congregation only to destroy us one by one with no thought or respect. Marcus. Octavianus, the late Caesar's nephew, sir. What brings the nephew of Caesar here? Cicero wanted me 
Is he safe? Unfortunately, somebody has killed him. How can this be? He has murdered even my dear mentor. Epsonius is not the true murderer of Caesar. Am I correct? The assassination was carried out not by an individual, but by a shadowy group of men. The other Brutus is at the center of this congregation, as well as the key to unlocking this mystery. He is the real killer of Julius Caesar. This does not concern you. The murderer is systematically eliminating all who know the truth about the assassination. That includes Cassius, also a member of the group, as well as Cicero, who cast the blame on Vipsanius to protect you. And now, you are next in line. Shut up! Tell me, who is the other Brutus? Silence! If you do not want your life to go to waste, stop meddling in affairs unrelated to you! Again, this is supposed to be a festival. If it continues on in this way, it is more likely to turn into a fiasco. Mechanus! I have uncovered the truth about Vipsanius. He must be released! No. Oh. Then... Who, pray tell, killed Caesar? A group of assassins. A congregation of killers. And what proof do you have? Uh... Listen to me. I do not care about the truth. All I care about is the fact that the gladiatorial games go smoothly and according to plan. No! Bring me the proof. Then, I will propose the release of Vipsanius to Antonius. I will find the evidence somehow. Congratulations. You made it. Thank you. The thought of my father has given me the strength to get this far. But it is not over yet. Uh. What is it? My brother. He is not a showman. That is just a front. He is really a pirate who plans to destroy Rome for vengeance. He is the son of Pompeius. The son of Pompeius? The general Pompeius who is defeated in battle by Caesar's troops? Yes, and he has plans to murder your good friend Octavianus. You are lying. I do not believe that he would do such a thing. It is not a lie. He took on the assassination to garner support to overthrow Rome. But who would do such a thing? Who ordered the assassination? I do not know. Well, what is going on? It is all so confusing. Ah! Please, Agrippa. 
You must help me. I cannot stop Sextus on my own. He will not be able to survive trying to destroy Rome. Do not worry. I will do what I can. So, it is a conspiracy of the other Brutus. We cannot waste another moment. We must find him. The gladiatorial games are going to begin. Caesar's belongings. What belongings? Caesar was a highly gifted writer. Perhaps he kept a journal or some other record which could offer clues about his killer. And where would we find that? Among the senators, there is a rumor that the late Caesar's belongings are kept in Antonius's residence. Have you seen General Decius? Master Antonius is looking for him. I saw him leave not too long ago. Said he was going to the temple outside the city. He seemed tense. I wonder what happened. General Decius, I must meet him. Sextus is missing. I have a bad feeling about this. My brother tried. He found Octavianus. I did everything I could to stop him, but... But what? What happened? Do not worry. He is safe. But Sextus is gone. Not even I can get through to him now. Damn it! Why Octavianus? What did he do? Do you really want to know? Oh my god. You have guessed correctly. It was our mistress who commissioned Sextus for the assassination. <gasps> All moves according to the plan of the Great One. Nobody can stop it now. Sextus, help the likes of her. Claudia, where are you going? I am going to find Sextus. bring to you this spectacular event, which I dedicate to the late Caesar. The victor of this competition 
We'll have the honor of executing Caesar's murderer, Vipsanius. We shall avenge Caesar's death and make his spirit glad! <laughs> Pirate Sextus, in the name of Pompeius, you shall die. Dear brother, please do not be foolish. Brother? If you kill him and cause chaos in Rome, all that you will accomplish is carnage. Is that really what you want? Claudia, I would do anything for you, but you cannot stop me now. Get out of my way! Go! Hurry! Are you all right? You have reached the truth. So, the other Brutus is... Yes, Decius Brutus. He took advantage of us. He knew that we were against Caesar's dictatorship. He created the conspirators. But he did so only to gain power for himself. I will go and get help. It... it cannot happen. You must find him. He cannot be allowed to walk free. Caesar's assassination plot. Take this. Marcus! I could not. I, I, I have failed. I was his bastard son, and everybody knew it. And yet he never once offered me so much as a kind word. And I hated him for it. And that is the true reason I joined the conspirators. But I could not kill him. I just wanted my father to love me. Marcus. <sighs> Macanus! 
I have just found the evidence to prove Vipsanius' innocence. I ask that he be released immediately. Hmm. Macanus! Arrest him. What is happening? Well, we cannot have you continuing with your meddling and ruining the upcoming games, can we? There must be some mistake! Macanus! Macanus! Legion. Quite a good show, was it not? Silence! Do you see these hands? They will tear you apart. A dog's bark is often worse than his bite. Ah. Speaking of dogs, your mother, she was not too bad. The only regret I have is not having some fun with her before I killed her. <laughs> Shut up! I will make you pay. Ha ha ha! Now who's barking? Come and get me! Wait! If you kill me, they will kill your father next! Is that what you want? <laughs> Foolish boy. When you stabbed him, that was not Julius Caesar. Vipsanius had warned Caesar that there was an assassination conspiracy, and he had arranged for an imposter. What? People of Rome! The assassination of Caesar was orchestrated by this man, Decius, and his group of co-conspirators. The co-conspirators have been killed by Decius, silenced forever. Vipsonius, he's innocent! Father! Father! Macanus! What is the meaning of all this? There is no doubt that it was Caesar! Antonius! 
Why are you sitting there? I do not remember naming you as my successor. The main force behind Caesar's assassination conspiracy was you. Antonius! That is absolutely ridiculous! When you found out that Caesar had not chosen you as his official decreed successor, you influenced Decius to create the group of conspirators. You had me murdered, then created a counterfeit will. And now you sit in the royal spectator box as the counterfeit emperor. We know everything. Why? Why was I not named as your successor? Here is a letter from our mistress. She says it is urgent. What? Do you mean to tell me that I am not Caesar's successor? I refuse to believe such nonsense. How can that be? I am his right-hand man. Who else could be remotely qualified to take his place when he's gone? If you think it is a lie, you should find out for yourself. Yes, look at the will that is kept at the temple. Do not believe it. Who is this? He is to be the successor of Caesar? This is an outrage! I will not accept this rubbish! So... Who is the true successor of Julius Caesar? Can you not see? It is this man, here. The man who shares the same air and countenance as Caesar. So much so that the people of Rome have already given him the title of Caesar. This man is the true successor of the late Julius Caesar. Octavianus! They all know Sextus has really made a mess of everything for us. Fortunately for me, everything has gone quite smoothly, according to my plan. Decius! Kill them! Damn it! You are all finished! You, stay back! Let me handle this! Kill your father next. Is that what you want? <laughs> Foolish boy.
The father of Rome has returned. Julius Caesar has come back to us. When you stabbed him, that was not Julius Caesar. Vipsanius had warned Caesar that there was an assassination conspiracy, and he had arranged for an imposter. What? People of Rome! The assassination of Caesar was orchestrated by this man, Decius, and his group of co-conspirators. The co-conspirators have been killed by Decius, silenced forever. Vipsonius, he's innocent! Father! Father! Macanus! What is the meaning of all this? There is no doubt that it was Caesar! Antonius! Why are you sitting there? I do not remember naming you as my successor. The main force behind Caesar's assassination conspiracy was you. Antonius! That is absolutely ridiculous! When you found out that Caesar had not chosen you as his official decreed successor, you influenced Decius to create the group of conspirators. You had me murdered, then created a counterfeit will. And now you sit in the royal spectator box as the counterfeit emperor. We know everything. Why? Why was I not named as your successor? Here is a letter from our mistress. She says it is urgent. What? Do you mean to tell me that I am not Caesar's successor? I refuse to believe such nonsense. How can that be? I am his right-hand man! Who else could be remotely qualified to take his place when he's gone? If you think it is a lie, you should find out for yourself. Yes, look at the will that is kept at the temple. I do not believe it. Who is this? He is to be the successor of Caesar? This is an outrage! I will not accept this rubbish! So, who is the true successor of Julius Caesar? Can you not see? It is this man, here. The man who shares the same air and countenance as Caesar. So much so that the people of Rome have already given him the title of Caesar. 
This man is the true successor of the late Julius Caesar. Octavianus. They all know Sextus has really made a mess of everything for us. Mechanus, you rat. Fortunately for me, everything has gone quite smoothly, according to my plan. Gassius! Kill them! Damn it! You are all finished! You, stay back! Let me handle this! Stop in his tracks. Fate will catch up with you unless you keep moving. judge you. Agrippa, are you all right? You are Caesar's successor. How did that happen? I had heard about Octavianus when I was working for Caesar as his secret negotiator. When I found out about the conspiracy, I thought this was the only way to expose the assassination plot to a wide audience. I was surprised as well, but I have thought about it, and I have made the decision to take on this honorable responsibility bestowed upon me. I apologize deeply for my very rude behavior. As long as my father is safe, that is all that matters. What is happening? We're here for Antonius. Do not get in my way, because you will not get away with it. Go! Huh? 
Father! Don't stop. Catch Antonius. But I will be fine. Now hurry. I will stay with your father. Go and find Antonius. Thank you. I will be back. Everything is burning. Did sex just do this as well? Agrippa, I could not stop my own brother. I'm useless. Where is Sextus? Straight down there, at Ostia. Let's go. Oh, no, you won't. Iris! Charmaine! Antonius's work is not yet done. It is quite a task, but it is our job to let him escape. <laughs> Let's go! Sextus! Where are you? That's my brother's ship! Let's go! Antonius! You just missed him. He is somewhere on the seas right now. I cannot believe that you and Octavianus are friends. I did not expect that. Sextus, stop this! Can you not see that he is using you? You will not win Rome by doing this! To take Rome. It was my father's dying wish, and I have made it my one purpose in life. I cannot stop now. Uh, Sextus! Uh, uh, so we were fated to end here. From the very beginning. Fate, huh? <laughs> I suppose you could say that. So, you are after Antonius. 
Shall we get on with this? Sure. Sextus, please surrender. <gasps> Antonius, I see you have no use for us anymore. Damn you! your name? Uh, uh. You don't want to tell me. Never mind then. How about Claudia? A fine name. <laughs> My younger sister's name. She's dead now. Claudia. Sextus! Stop it! You cannot help him now! Uh, uh, release me! Let me go! Sextus! Sextus! <laughs> Ship! This is only the beginning. I have the power to change Rome, and I intend to reshape it according to my preference. Do you understand, Agrippa? No, Antonius. This is where it ends.
fire is my friend. Burn everything. Create a clean slate on which to etch a new history. be together, Sextus. Claudia, are you going? Yes. There's still much for me to do. I'll be watching from afar. I look forward to seeing the new realm. Claudia! Promise me you will return to Rome. I will fulfill Caesar's dream of the Pax Romana, whatever it takes. And I shall help you in whatever way I can. Tell the Great One that we have reached the end of the beginning. 